on the bridge. My name is Janie. I am one of the trainers here at Dolphin Amphitheater. Thank you for joining us for our uh, inside look presentation of our dolphins and pilot whales. Uh, I know first and foremost you all might have a question about your stamps for your passports so that you can collect those fun pins at the end of the evening. If you look closely, the one for Dolphin Amphitheater has already been stamped. So you are all set and ready to go. So you can just sit back and enjoy our presentation. Now, okay. I'm going to come on down here to the glass. And very uh, shortly, we are going to be joined by our other team members, our other animal behaviorists, oh, and so our dolphin sense. family. Oh, no. Now, here already. at Dolphin Amphitheater, okay. we are actually home to 18 bottlenose dolphins. And in fact, got? you guys are going to get a very special treat today because you are actually going to meet all 18 of our bottlenose wow. dolphins. This is a new occurrence. We, about four months ago, were very uh, lucky and uh, very special because we welcomed into our dolphin family two brand new baby dolphin cats. Yes, they are quite adorable. They will be zipping around probably the center of the pool because they don't yet know how to come over to us yet. They are in the care completely of their mothers right now. So this is our uh, dolphin behaviors training team and all 18 of our dolphins. Now, as I was saying, we did welcome two dolphin calves to us. Uh, our first one was born to Malibu. His name is Jack. And then about nine hours later, we uh, had McGuire uh, give birth to our little baby girl dolphin named Sky. So we were very, very excited about that. So what we're gonna be doing today with all of our dolphins is kind of what we call team-based behavior. We're gonna be working with our dolphins, working together as one group. So you may see a lot of different things and hopefully we'll be able to answer all the questions that you have. And uh, you'll also see us kind of stepping down, interacting with our dolphins and then stepping away and then going on their free time. This is actually crucial, crucial for training, especially of young, young animals. Not only do we have two four-month-old calves within this pool, but we also have another calf that is just over a year old. He is about center. Uh, Stephanie is actually pointing him out right there. And his mother is Melanie. And you are gonna get a very close enough personal look with him later on during this presentation. We're gonna bring him out to the glass, I believe. All right, so Casey. to introduce all of our dolphins. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, Maggie just brought her calf out here for the first time. The calf really wants to be in the back pool, but Maggie is doing her best to corral and push baby out here to say, come join the group. But there goes the babies again. So kind of keep your eye out for the babies and mom's going to scoop them up. Now, we're gonna say hi to the rest of the dolphins, but keep your eye out for baby. We've got a group coming out to say hello, right? Yes. All right, so we've got, for the first four of our dolphins, coming out to say hello to everybody. They're gonna be doing their best hula dance in the middle of the pool. This is one of our mama dolphins, Malibu, and three of her friends. Wonderful. Now, the idea behind this training session is group cooperation. So we're asking in small groups to see if all the dolphins can work together. We've got the next four, including our one-year-old baby. Melanie is his mom, and the little pet of blues that aren't quite baby is our one-year-old Blue. He's trying to copy mom, you guys. He's doing so great. He just doesn't realize that they're all waving their flukes without him. All right, next up, we've got three of our dolphins. Now, instead of four, it's three. Beautiful. All the noises that you hear come out of their blowhole up on top of their head. All right, and we've got our last group over here in the corner. They're going to come over and try to give you a big wave with their pectoral flippers. This is our oldest dolphin, Sandy, who is 41 years old, and her best friend. Beautiful. Now, you guys, all the dolphins are out here, including the babies right now, both of them. And we're going to try to move them around a little bit, see if that kind of helps the babies pull up. Join the group out here, see if moms can get them to come towards stage. Everything we do is about practice and kind of reading what the dolphins are doing and letting their behavior dictate 
a lot of what we're doing. is based on the dolphins' personalities and what they seem to need. And if they need a little break because we've got babies in the pool, we're going to step away and take a little break. Everything is about them. All right, what are we thinking? Looks like we're going to take a little break. We're going to step away from the dolphins, let them just swim around and explore, and then we're going to step back down and try some more behaviors. Jamie, what do you think? I think it's a great opportunity to take a really good look at all of our animals. You are going to be seeing them kind of coming back and forth between this front pole and the back pole that they all have access to right now. Uh, when our calves were actually born, they were both born in this pool here. Now, both moms were out here by themselves, well, together, and then they both gave birth. It was actually quite, I, I'm going to say we planned it, but as always, dolphin surprises a bit. Malibu actually had, uh, Jack is her second calf, so she is an experienced mom. She gave birth first, but that was very helpful for us because Maggie with Skye, that is her very first calf. So she had an opportunity before she gave birth to actually kind of see what happens. We will often pair dolphins together like that with a new mom, with a more experienced mom, so we can get some visual learning. <laughs> Dolphins and whales actually learn quite a bit from one another, as you'll see a little bit later on with uh, Blue and his mom, Melanie. So, the one very interesting thing that many of you probably aren't aware of is when dolphin calves are first born, they're actually born tail first. And the reason for that is, is because those tail flukes that you see that give them all that propulsion and that power are actually just really thick cartilage. And I'm being upstaged by a lot of dolphins right now, aren't I? <laughs> just a little bit. Everybody's kind of splashed around behind me. They're very distracting. So they're actually born tail first so that that cartilage can actually harden up so that they can help that calf to swim. However, when calves are born, they are not very good swimmers. And in fact, the lawn has to keep swimming in order to help her calf stay in that perpetual motion. The calf will actually go into what you call the slipstream. They're very hydrodynamic, and they can actually pull their calves along with them as they swim so that the calf does not have to work quite as hard to swim. And then they're going to get their tail foods nice and hard and ready to go, and then they get, there you go, there's Sky right there, uh, so that they're able to swim on their own. But that means for a good two weeks after a dolphin birth, mom does not stop swimming at all. Can you imagine? That is quite an exhausting job, isn't it, for those mothers out there? Can you imagine just walking around for about two weeks straight after giving birth? So it is quite a challenging job to be a dolphin mom. Uh, but Maggie in Malibu did a great job. And after that, we started introducing other dolphins to our dolphin cats. Because what would be happening out in the ocean is they are making birth in the family group with other dolphins. So that when mom eventually after the release does actually have to go and hunt to feed herself and therefore feed her calf. Uh, there is another dolphin, what we call an anti-dolphin, that can take over the health and well-being of that dolphin. And actually what you see here with all 18 of our dolphins right now is a culmination of months and months of work and introductions. And we have finally gotten all of our dolphin family back together again. Now as you're seeing Stephanie here working with um, Melanie and Blue, like I said, Melanie is our matriarch. She is our largest dolphin. She's about 600 pounds. She is in charge. And her son, Blue. Now, Blue is just over a year old. You're going to see us doing quite a few different behaviors with Blue and Melanie. Now, Melanie has taught Blue a few things as we proceed throughout his life. But a lot of the behaviors that you're going to see that he is starting to display are also part of our training. Now, Casey was talking just a little bit about our training, how we want to draw all the good, all the attention, all the positive things that we want to see more of. But the way the dolphins learn is kind of like you and I learn how to read and write, through small approximations of steps. We learn small little letters, and then small words, and then sentences, and then paragraphs. The dolphins learn the same way. And you're getting an opportunity to see a little bit of that right now. Those short step ups and step downs, which means when we're directly interacting with our animals or we're stepping away and giving them free time, are just small little steps to ask them to stay with us and have fun and interact with us. I believe that was Malibu and Jack. 
Here at Dolphin Amphitheater, we are home to four pilot whales. Now, the oldest of our pilot whales is named Argo. He is 19 years old. He originally stranded off the coast of Japan. Now, he was rehabilitated there for about nine years. After that, he was actually brought here to live at the Dolphin Amphitheater with our two other pilot whales. Now, since then, about, I told you our, our calves were actually born about four months ago. Well, about five months ago, we welcomed three new pilot whales. Their names are Ace, Ava, and Piper. Now, these three pilot whales actually stranded in 2012. Now, when they stranded, they were only about uh, two to six months of age. Now, when I say the word strand, I don't know if everybody is aware, but on a Pilot whales are actually known for what we call mass strandings. They will actually run up onto the beaches and get stuck there for a multitude of different reasons. Now, these three pilot whales were amongst many that had stranded. Now, at that time, they were obviously in dire need of human attention and human care to even survive. And at that point, because their rehabilitation was going to be so intensive and they would become so dependent on human beings, it was actually fish and wildlife that deemed them not able to go back out into the open ocean and survive on their own. So of course, here in Florida, or our park in Florida, and of course here, we were very happy to welcome them here and give them their forever home. So as you can see, all right, so to your right, we have Piper. Next to her is Ava. In the center there getting fed right now is Argo. And at the very left hand side for you guys is Ace. So that is our pilot whale family. Now, like I said, Argo is 19 years old. Jamie. Yes. I'm so sorry to interrupt. We're going to have okay. training behavior oh. with one of our pilot whales, Ava. We're actually going to be asking her to splash. Now, I want to warn you all, she's been getting better and better at this behavior. So there's a good opportunity for those of you sitting in the summer zone, you might get splashed. I know it's a warm day, but I want you to be ready for it just in case. So if you don't want to splash, now is your opportunity to move a little bit higher. All right? All right, I warned them. You guys like it, but Ava's been working on this behavior. She's come a long way. What we're hoping to see is that her body stays level and she splashes that tail flute. Excellent. Now, Tim is guiding her.
that they're longer, that they're making progress. All right, you guys, we love you here. We love that you came to visit us. We love our grand panelists. We're going to have to give you a very special wave goodbye. Oh,